Eight days ago, we lost a very special man, not only to our KSL family, but to many of you who have watched Channel 5 and listened to BYU Sports on KSL Radio over the years. Paul James passed away at the age of 87. Now, Paul spent 24 years anchoring the sports right here at KSL and was the voice of the Cougars for over 40 years, calling more than 1,300 BYU football and basketball games. He also called you games before that. Mm -hmm. Here's a look back at his iconic career and thoughts from those who knew him best. Weeknights at 6 and 10, we've got Norse, Weldy, and James. He'd go out on the air and just tell you the sports. He knew what he had there. He had a photographic memory. He really did. He Paul James in sports. Most people don't think of one without the other. And he got on the air and he talked to everybody in Utah and we trusted him because PJ was himself. He was the guy that lived right next door to each and every one of us. Okay, well that's the problems on defense. Uh, you have any other problems? Well, we got a problem on offense. You know, in the past around here, we've always tried to throw him the ball, but now I understand we're going to try and throw it. You're going to throw the ball? We're going to throw the ball. We're going to throw a lot of passes. If we, I, I believe that's the way we say it. I'm not sure. He was special. He was special. He was one of a kind. And, um, Iconic, yes, and he leaves behind uh, a great legacy, not only in the Valley and around the state, but also right here uh, at KSL. And the Boston Celtics did not score a field goal in the last two and a half minutes of play. I don't even know what I did to deserve to be there right out of college, but to be Paul's understudy, uh, it made a profound difference in my life and my career, that's for sure. What I saw in Paul was someone who on the air was who he was off the air. There was a naturalness about PJ on the air that wasn't anything he had the work to do. Opened the door and I said, um, who should I credit? And geez, it sounded like a herd of elephants <laughs> went down the road. I still see him with that look in his eye, that smile. He wore a smile 365, 24 seven. He was a special friend and someone truly that uh, I looked up to and I always will. God bless you, PJ, and God bless all the folks at KSL and the state of Utah. Paul had more to his life than just sports, and I really respected that. Paul was a master bridge player. Paul was a poet. Paul was a painter. Paul was a piano player. But he wanted to do all of these things in life, and he put his mind to it one at a time. And he did all of this after he retired from sports and broadcasting. He's a fantastic, amazing man. He really was. And when we arrived, they told us it was about the football season. We weren't aware that Utah had played any football this year. <laughs> I enjoyed the adversary, and he was a tremendous adversary. Paul was always a friend and was always a competitor, and we always had a lot of fun on the air. You guys, Shelly, this is the first time I've ever partied with you. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, college football fans. Oh, yeah, you've been wrong most of the time anyway. I'll be so shining shoes right that's, tomorrow, right. that's why you're shining my shoes now. Uh, let's be honest. Uh, let me move in here. Uh, there isn't that much difference, really, between you and me, is there? I don't think there'll ever be another guy like Paul James. Never. There won't be another Paul James, no. Yeah, Paul James was one of those once-in-a-lifetime sports broadcasting icons. And I remember the first communication I had with Paul, 1984, sitting in my basement trying to figure out how to get into the sports casting business. So at 10 o'clock on a weeknight, I call KSL, they transfer me to Paul, and he spent 10 to 15 minutes giving me advice, pointing me in the right direction. And I thought that was pretty cool at the time that he would spend that time with me, someone that he had never met. It wasn't until a few years later when I got in the business and I realized just how special that was because at 10 o'clock, <laughs> when you're getting ready for the 10 o'clock news and it's crunch time, you're on in 20 minutes, you don't have time, you're too busy. You're getting prepared. And yet he still took that time without hurrying and he talked to me and nobody. Paul James left a legacy here at KSL Jeremiah that all of us sportscasters have tried to live up to. And you know what? We never will because Paul James was our icon and a very special human being. Yeah, well said. Yeah. Um, and so we're just, we'll try though. <laughs> we'll do we'll our try. best. But he inspired a generation yeah. of yeah. all of us. And we've all tried to mm -hmm. capture that professionalism and that fun that he yeah. was able to. It's not easy to do that. But he is a standard that we're all trying to uh, achieve. Viewing and funeral will be Tuesday morning uh, on 5850 South, 900 East, if you want to uh, pay your respects.